True Business Review. Mike is back today with another divisional prediction review. Dan, the other co-member of this channel, will be posting a lot of prediction videos in the upcoming days. Look for one team prediction every day from Dan. And I am finishing up my last two videos of the division predictions. Today, I am predicting the AFC West division. The Raiders, Chargers, Chiefs, and Broncos. So before we begin, just so you guys know how this works... I ranked the teams from 4th, loser of the division, to 1st, team was going to win the division, and there we go. So let's begin. Coming in at number 4, I'm going to have to rank, let's think about this one real quick, I'm going to have to rank, it's tough, I'm going to have to rank number 4 as the Las Vegas Raiders. The Raiders didn't do enough to improve over the offseason. Um, for some reason, it seems like uh, Gruden is not happy with Derek Carr as a starting quarterback. And they went uh, wide receiver heavy in the draft. I don't like their selection of Henry Ruggs they, uh, in the first round because basically they had the choice of any receiver available in the draft. And I know that, like they kind of wanted to copycat uh, the Chiefs and get a Tyreek Hill caliber like speed threat. But I think that with C.D. Lamb still on the board um, and other players, Justin Jefferson... And players of that caliber, you can't really pass up on those players to go and pick Henry Ruggs, who's a speed guy, but not necessarily a great wide receiver. So I put them at number four. Coming in at number three, going to have to put the Los Angeles Chargers. I like this team's selection of Justin Herbert. Uh, if you look at our first round draft prediction uh, ranking video, I am high on Justin Herbert. I think he's literally a younger version of Phillip Rivers. So I think that the Chargers kind of got a steal in the draft kind of in that uh, sense. However, I don't understand. It seems like they're going to want to play Tyrod Taylor week one instead of Justin Herbert. So I think that instead of having that mindset being locked in on Tyrod Taylor, I think they should go into training camp like in an open quarterback competition maybe. Kind of like something where let Justin Herbert show what he can do. Because I think Justin Herbert is a cannon for an arm. And, you know, him and Keenan Allen could form kind of a dynamic duo and maybe make a splash. However, I don't see this team winning this division with two teams that are ranked better. With that being said, coming in at number two, the Denver Broncos. The Broncos might be the most improved team in the draft. I really like their selections. They got Jerry Judy, a really good wide receiver. And they also got... KJ Hamler, who I think is very underrated. Myself being a Penn State fan, I watched all of his games play in uh, college. Dude's an absolute speed threat. Honestly, I like the selection of KJ Hamler more than I like the selection of Henry Ruggs. So I'm not high on Drew Locke. If the Broncos got like, if the Broncos got like a Cam Newton figure, because he's like the best quarterback available in free agency right now, if the Broncos got Cam Newton. I would give this team more of a shot to win the division. But with Drew Locke as quarterback, I just don't have faith in him. I know he's 4-1 and as a starter, but they were some uh, easy opponents. So once Drew Locke proves himself, maybe I'll be a little more expecting of how this team can perform. But KJ Hamler, Jerry Judy, and Cortland Sonnen, that's a pretty full wide receiver room. And then running back-wise, they got Melvin Gordon and Philip Lindsay, defensively Von Miller. This team is starting to build up and try to assemble a team that can win the division. Coming in at number one, the Kansas City Chiefs. It shouldn't be a surprise to anybody that the Kansas City Chiefs are number one. They're just dynamic on all fronts. They have Pat Mahomes, debatably MVP caliber. And then they got um, Tyreek Hill. He's insane. Travis Kelsey, one of the best tight ends in the game. And what I like about this team, so all the running backs were projected to go in the second round. But that's because this year's draft class was so stacked that most of the running backs this year would have went, like, first round next year. So with that being said, the Chiefs knew that they had a late-round pick in the first round. So they decided, okay, let's just, you know, select a running back. Because basically they, there was, like, four good running backs available in this draft. And they got their choice of Edward Hilaire or whatever. So basically they chose their guy. They went out and got him. And they thought that he would be the right fit for their scheme. So with that being said, I do think the Chiefs might need to build up their defense a little bit. Defense is getting a little old. I know Frank Clark's a pretty good guy. 
and Tyron Matthew is one of the best safeties um, in the league. So the Chiefs defense is pretty good, I guess, but I do think that uh, for as good of an offense the Chiefs have, they should focus a little more on the defense. And because in last year they ranked thirty first in total defense, so that's not good. They averaged twenty six points a game given up. Come on now, bro. Build that defense. Give Pat Mahomes a little cushion room. All right, there's the rankings from first to fourth. Um, hope you guys like this video. Comment your team and division to be featured, and make sure you subscribe.